So we were talking before a little bit about the personas on the sponsor side. Um, we've also developed personas on the lender side, on the passive investor side of the business. So um, that has been extremely helpful full for being able to really articulate to whom we want to market. Um, and it's, again, it's taken some, some trial and error because we, mm. we found that we had a thesis that there was one particular type of uh, passive investor that was uh, kind of made up the, the entire profile of who our customers were. So what we did was we started with this thesis. Okay, we think it's, it's this type of individual. They're of a certain level of, of income because mm -hmm. they're an accredited investor. Um, they're probably, you know, oftentimes they're in um, higher paying, higher income jobs, like uh, they might be doctors or lawyers that are looking to generate that passive income. Mm -hmm. um, so we started with the thesis around what that persona looked like. Um, and then we actually started to go out and run tests. So that actually was, um, it was really fun. So we took a, a multivariate approach to running those mm -hmm. tests. So one way was um, actually just going out and interviewing some of our core customers. It seems so obvious, right? Old style, <laughs> yeah. Actually just calling them up. It's or, a good start. Right? Yeah, it's, it is. It's, it's, mm. You think about who are the people that you want to attract more of? Who are the people that you want more of doing business with you? And, you know, if they're willing, um, and a lot of people are, and there's ways you can incentivize them as well, um, you know, with a little bit of a yield bump or whatever. Um, there's, <laughs> if you... Uh, really get them to talk about their experience. They're totally happy to do so. Um, again, it, it's, it goes back to real estate being driven by relationships. So just picking up the phone and talking with um, a passive investor that's, that's been active on our site, you know, that's, that's a huge game changer. And it really gives you that qualitative kind of anecdotal data point. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, uh, it's good to get the, 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 the qu quantitative side of things, right? You want that you want to be able to um, point to to statistics and demographics of, of who your people are. So we actually, in addition to running um, personalized one-to-one -one interviews, we also sent out a, a survey to our entire passive investor customer base. Okay. So we asked them a, a question literally down to, you know, what's your occupation? How did you hear about funds that flip? Where do you tend to get your, you know, most of your investing information? We call that again, the watering hole um, okay. for that type of audience. Um, and they're very willing to come back and say, you know, this is, this is how we heard about you. This is where we hang out. These are other mm. crowdfunding platforms that we use. Here's why we like you. Here's why we don't. Um, and that is, is, Fan, just fantastic evergreen data that you can then start to distill and make really actionable business decisions out of.